While he waited for his murder trial, Aaron Hernandez was in a county jail. And now that he is convicted, the 27-year-old former New England Patriots star is going to MCI Cedar Junction, used to be called Wapol State Prison. Uh, according to its website, Cedar Junction is a maximum security facility, 20 uh, feet of fencing surrounding it, eight observation towers, five strands of electrical wire along the wall. But what it's like uh, to know you're headed into a place like this for the rest of your life and never coming out? My goodness. Larry Levine, the director and founder of Wall Street Prison Consultant, served 10 years in a federal prison. Larry the Levine, welcome back to the show. Um, my first question is, uh, I mean, knowing that he's the superstar, you know, Patriots, uh, ex-Patriots player, will he be revered by the, by the inmates or will he be isolated? Well, there's a pecking order in prison with child molesters being on the bottom end and people that murder people, violent killers being on the high end. So I don't think he's really going to have any problems in there. And I've been locked up with athletes, celebrities and such, and people kind of cozy around them looking for favors. They want to be their friend and such. So I don't think he's going to have any problems in there. I heard what Nancy Grace had to say and what the judge had to say. And you know, they're both right. It is a dangerous place. It is a violent place. He's going to be in isolation. But then on the other hand, yeah, he'll be able to go out and play basketball, lift weights, socialize with other inmates. He's not going to be stuck in a cell all the time. And by the way, as we're talking, I'm just being told we've got some new video. Go ahead and roll it and let's watch this together. These are obviously aerial pictures. I can't see it see. if they can throw okay, it on I, I will me. walk you through this, Larry Levine. This uh, Aaron Hernandez here shackled uh, at his feet and hands is being walked out of this big white van and into this concrete, through this concrete wall with all this wiring and into this uh, into this prison. So that's the first glimpse we've had uh, of him going into maximum security prison. Uh, so you're telling me, if you're talking about Aaron Hernandez being able to be out and about and playing basketball with the general population, so he, he won't be isolated? No, not really. And remember, this place is just a reception center for the state of Massachusetts, where they kind of send everybody here. Yes, it's maximum security, but they've got another place called Sousa Baronsky, which is also a maximum security institution. So he may eventually end up there. The Department of Corrections, they are the sole deciding factor of where you serve your time. It's not a jury, it's not the judge. So he may end up anywhere in the Massachusetts system that has high security maximum inmates. But is it dangerous? Guards, yes. Do you think the guards will treat him differently? And will he have visitors? Like will his fiance be able to spend a little time with him? Well, because he's in maximum custody and he's serving life, yeah, she'll be able to spend time with them, but it probably won't be a contact visit. He won't be sitting across a table. He might be talking to her through glass. And a lot of these institutions now, high security, it's kind of like you're Skyping with them, where they have Skype stations set up where you can talk to the inmate via video. And as far as the staff, there'll be a lot of staff that'll treat him like uh, an animal like he is. Then there's going to be other staff that are going to want to be his friend, maybe get his autograph, that mm -hmm. will revere him as a star. So he's going to walk the spectrum on both sides. And remember, he's got another trial possibly right. coming up for what? For that double, Two for other that double murder. That's exactly right. Okay, We've heard so the date has been postponed, boom. but the prosecution will continue. He's, and who he, knows he'll how be that on may his go. way. Brooke, he'll be on his way back possibly to county jail because they're not going to want to transport him all the time back and forth so this is more it. of a formality they're booking him into the doc they'll fingerprint him they'll take his picture they'll classify him but i suspect okay. we'll see him in county jail again soon okay larry levine as always thank you so much and just a heads up to all of you tonight please take a look uh, at this piece we're airing this the updated case against Aaron Hernandez now that he's been convicted of uh, murder in the first degree do not miss our special 9 p.m. Eastern right here on CNN next